May 1977, Bobby Moore's final game in English football. A legend retires. A future in the game was a given for the man who gave English football's past its greatest memory. But where? Answer, the White House ground in Oxfordshire. Just over two and a half years later, Bobby was back. Wow, Oxford City, you know, playing a non-league just up the road from me. Bobby Moore, the England World Cup winning captain, this Sunday manager. And what people do forget, his assistant is a young, up-and-coming Harry Redknapp. As incredible journeys go, Bobby Moore's from World Cup to Oxford Senior Cup was right up there. But this was a national hero with no airs or graces. You've just got to pick the right time and the right place to do the right thing. I realised that when I packed up playing, there was, you know, I didn't deserve any divine right to be given the first job that became available just because of what I'd achieved at, uh, in a playing capacity. One of their first games I refereed in the Oxford Senior Cup and went up to the White House ground, which is gone now, and refereed there. And it was, it was incredible to referee a football match when I was in my early 20s. And Bobby Moore, you know, as manager of the team. The fans love seeing Bobby Moore at the White House ground and even managed to bring a few big names to the club, albeit for charity games. We're going to teach him how to kick. He's fondly remembered in Oxfordshire because that was his first managerial job. Bobby later took charge of Southend United for a spell, but the best memories of Bobby Moore, manager, are cherished at Oxford City. <laughs>